What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video we're going to be doing a super simple mod for you guys and the cool thing about this one I haven't seen it around so if you guys do end up liking it make sure to stay tuned for this video and if you guys do end up wanting to purchase it it's going to be in the description box below. What we're going to be installing today is down here for the license plate lights as you guys do know most people do change it out and they just put like a regular LED bulb into it so for today's video we're actually going to be replacing it with a full-on LED uh, so we're taking out the housing and replacing it with this one this is the old one this is the new one so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it and then uh, if you guys want it check out the description box below let's go ahead and now get into the video and we'll show you guys Wait, 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 before you guys click off this video, I wanna show you guys something really quick. You guys probably have seen this already on my Instagram stories, maybe on my YouTube channel and some of my videos, but today I wanted to show you guys the Easter box for my good friend Marissa's Bakery. If you guys can, go give her a follow. It's gonna be in the description box below. But basically what I have right here is gonna be one of her Easter cell boxes. Let me go ahead and show you guys and then we'll go back to the video on installing the part. So the cool thing about her stuff is it actually always comes well packaged, great affordable deals and they're actually really good. So if you guys are in the Inland Empire, Riverside County, anywhere like that, it's worth the drive, trust me. So basically inside the Easter box, you're gonna get some of these bad boys right here. So uh, for the Easter sale box, you guys will like it. And then another cool thing, if you guys don't wanna go ahead and get like the mix like I did, you guys can get it individually. So check out her Instagram, that's where all the prices will be. But basically what this one comes with is gonna be uh, three of the strawberry cheesecake bars. Those are freaking good. If you guys like cheesecake, you guys will like those. And it's also gonna come with three carrot whoopie pies. So for those of you guys that like whoopie pies, you guys will probably like that. It's also gonna come with two bunny cake pops, which are right here. It comes with like a pink one and a white one. Not sure if it'll be a different color every time. And then also it's gonna come with four M&M cookies. These ones are my favorite. I can probably bulk up on these and you guys already know I'm getting chunky, so I probably should slow it down a little bit, but those are freaking good. So if you guys do end up wanting to buy it, Description box below once again. Sorry I keep inputting it, but let's go ahead and get back to the video. All right, you guys, so back to the video. So before we actually install them on the truck, I'm gonna show you guys right here on hand because once we actually start going into the truck, it's gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see. So I'd rather show you guys how it works on the outside and then I'll show you guys actually installing it, if that makes sense. So this one here is gonna be the brand new LED. And like I said, it's a full on LED chip. And as you can tell right here, it's gonna have the input that's gonna be connected inside. You're gonna see when we get to the housing part but basically this is how it'll look. It's gonna be super bright. I'll show you guys at night. Trust me, it's bright. So the factory one is gonna be right here. As you can tell, it just kind of has a regular halogen bulb. And yeah, it's, it's really ugly, it's yellow, and it doesn't really illuminate anything here. So we're gonna be tossing this um, up to you guys if you guys wanna keep it. As far as for me, I'm gonna throw them away. This is useless to me. And then this is of course the brand new one. So let me show you how these things work on popping them out. So to actually remove this one, um, it's gonna be popping out this way. So you can probably do it different ways, but as far as for me, this is the way I found out where you won't break the clips. And also um, it's, I believe, the right way to do it. But uh, so noticing right here, there's a tab there, there's a tab there. So on the old ones, they're exactly the same. So basically what you do is when you're in the inside, which I'll show you guys, but when you're back here in the inside, you're gonna try to push this thing in words like that. And from back here, you'll push it out. So then it'll release it a little bit. And then you get your flathead screwdriver on the opposite side, push in and same thing with your finger, kind of push it out and then it will actually release it. It'll be kind of dangling like that. Once you pull it out, you'll be able to kind of unclip it and then it'll release, and then you can put the brand new one in there. So now that I'm underneath the truck, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it is under here. Uh, so basically it's gonna be super simple, so do not be intimidated, but looking right underneath, you're gonna notice right here is the housing that I was showing you guys on the outside, but that's the housing for the actual light. So what you wanna do is, uh, those are the tabs, so you're gonna go ahead and go on the outside of it, you're gonna kind of push in, and with your finger, you're gonna push it out. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the opposite side, push in the tab and then with your finger push out and it should release it just like that. So once you have it in that position there, let's go ahead and go on the outside of the truck. Of course, and now that you have it pulled out just like this, you're gonna notice, let me show you guys, it's exactly the same as the aftermarket one. The only difference, of course, this is a full LED chip versus this ugly halogen. So to actually remove it from here, you wanna go ahead and get the harness and just 
turn it counterclockwise and it should release just like that. So now as far as for you guys, if you guys do end up wanting to uh, save this and save the bulb, you guys can put it aside, put it in a baggie or whatever. As far as for me, I'm gonna toss them. So I'm gonna get that out of the way. This is gonna be the brand new one. As you can tell, it doesn't have an actual bulb, but it does have the connection for it. So you wanna go ahead and just kind of connect it as if you were putting in the bulb. And then before you actually uh, connect everything back together and kind of put it back together, I would highly suggest you guys test it out. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now, just in case it's polarity specific. So let me go ahead and turn these bad boys on. Now that you guys found out that it does work, so up next you're gonna notice there is grooves in here, like little cutouts, there's three of them. And then on the actual harness, there's gonna be cutouts as well. So it's gonna go in a certain way. So you can't really mess this up. If it's not going in one way, just kind of play with it. Once it's inserted, go ahead and turn it clockwise. And then you're basically done. Check connection, make sure it's not gonna fall out. And then you just go ahead and reinsert, just like that. Okay. And once you hear the clicking, that just means that it's actually inserted. It ain't gonna go anywhere. So as you can tell, during the day, it's actually freaking bright. Full LED chips, no LED bulb. So you know this is gonna be good. You know it's gonna be bright. Kind of like my Miso Customs LED lighting inside. So if you guys do want these, description box below. Let me go ahead and now skip to the night clips to show you guys. All right, you guys, so now that it's nighttime, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. So of course, there is light outside, so it's not pitch black out here. And you can tell, it's like crazy, crazy freaking bright. So if you guys do want these, like I said, they're well worth it, especially for the price. I mean, check that out. They're not expensive at all easy to install, plug and play, and it's actually a full LED chip, as you guys saw, to go ahead and insert those. So if they ever blow out, easy to install, like I said. So if you guys want them, there it is. So this should only take you about five minutes to actually install. You guys might have some trouble trying to remove the little tabs that are back there, um, but besides that, it's a super simple install. If you guys do want it, it's down there. As you guys saw, they're actually really bright at night. Even during the day, you can see them. It kind of hurts your eyes to look at them. So that's actually really awesome. And I'm just kind of pretty happy about it because if I ever do need to replace them, as you guys saw, it's the full thing and it's not expensive. So if you guys did like today's video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Don't forget to check out my friend's bakery. It'll be also in the description box below. See you guys, peace. So really quick, I'm gonna have my good niece. My good niece? <laughs> so really quick, I'm gonna have my niece try these out and get her opinion. As I said, I like them, but let's see what someone else thinks of these bad boys. Good. All right, so I'm gonna have her try, uh, start off with a strawberry cheesecake bar. What do you think? Good texture? Good flavor? Sounds good. And Heck I don't yeah. really like strawberry. Okay, <laughs> and that's from someone that doesn't like strawberries. I'm a very picky eater. Okay. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, so up next, she's gonna be trying the carrot cake. As far as for her, she doesn't really like carrot, so I don't know if it'll be good for her or not. I liked it. I like whoopie pies as well, so let's see. So, so? Okay. so if you guys like sweet, there you go. We're saving the M&Ms for last because those are the best. Mm -hmm. um, try out the bunny cake pop. What do you think of that? Okay. So it's a good chocolate bunny cake. So this was my favorite. So I think you might like it. Um, I hope. <laughs> Let's see. I probably will. I love cookies. <laughs> <laughs> How's the flavor on that one? Oh, good. Good? Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. So that's from someone that hasn't tried it out yet. So if you guys do end up wanting to buy it, description box below once again. Sorry I keep inputting it, but let's go ahead and get back to the video.